All right, so we're going to move into our last movie, and Conti is going to bring us in on that one as well. And this one is, I'm I, I here, oh, it's here to, yeah, it's here it's today. Here, it's here today. today. Here, here today. Tell us about this one, Katya. This movie starts stars Billy Crystal, who I love, and Tiffany Haddish. And they have a very peculiar uh, friendship. And the way that they meet is so odd, where she kind of indirectly won a lunch with him. And from there on, through this lunch, they are intertwined in their lives. And he plays someone older who is a legendary comedy writer and, you know, is very loving, but he lost his wife. So he's a little lonely and he's also losing his memory. He's starting to have signs of dementia. And um, this is how, you know what I mean? And she also has gone through some losses, a breakup. And they're kind of like filling the void for each other. It's 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 it's, it's an odd relationship, but you can understand it. I'm just thankful they didn't make them be boyfriend and girlfriend because that would have been creepy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. So you just gave away something, but that's all right. Uh, so so it, there's a lot to like here, and there's a lot to say. Ugh, I wish is that the beginning of the film didn't seem like Tiffany fit there because she was so over the top and it was just a little bit too much. And it's, and, and so much so that I was like, uh, I guess I'm not going to like this film, but because they're doing a couple of things here, they're talking about dementia, they're looking at the dysfunctional family and they're also looking at friendship. I, I think they finally get, in there some kind of way. They finally get in there where you're like, ah, but the, by time they do it, it's not the film that you would be like, oh man, I just really like it. I'm happy that these two uh, and, and, and two iconic comedians are able to work together. I, I, I love that. I love the fact that uh, Billy Crystal used his writing skills here because you could tell there's some, there are some good laughs in this one for sure. It just kind of moves like this. It moves around a little bit too much for me that it doesn't stick. This is going to be one of those that uh, I, I, I know we're dealing with dementia, but you're probably going to forget some stuff. KB. Yeah. So um, I, so I am surprised by a few things. One that I ended up being okay with it in the end. Like, oh, I don't hate this. You know, like, oh, okay. Because in the beginning, to Reggie's point, like Tiffany was just Tiffany. I don't know any other way to put it than she was just Tiffany. And so, you know, oftentimes in these films, what I want to see from Tiffany, because I do think she is really funny, is I'd like to see her play more layered characters. And I'd like to see her um, in a different light with a little bit more depth and things like that. And so I feel like in the beginning, she was very much just kind of the usual comedic Tiffany that we see in most films. And then she progressed into someone that had a bit more kind of depth and layers as the story goes on and as their friendship deepens. Um, but yeah, it was, you know, it reminded me at times of the holiday in the sense of you mm. have this younger woman and this older man who developed this friendship um, and, you know, this younger woman is trying to help this older man in, in, multitude of capacities and so tiffany really is that person for him she really is just his friend she doesn't want anything obviously that's a point of contention for his family and his friends because they're like what is this young black girl doing with this old white man like she must be trying to take his money that's basically what's alluded to um and she's like nah like he needs help he doesn't trust anyone else so you know i might as well be there for him so his story unfolds in interesting ways and um i just I kind of wish there was a bit more depth to the relationship with his kids. Like, I definitely feel like, you know, it, it, it wasn't as meaningful in the end that it could have been because in the beginning, we weren't really getting that much with the children. Um, but I adore Billy Crystal. Um, and I think that like, to Reggie's point, there are some very hilarious moments that you can tell that he wrote in this. And I know he's a co-writer. I feel like there are two other people who have writing credits, but you can very much tell the 
iconic Billy Crystal moments in the film, I guess is the best way to put it. But yeah, I ended it and I didn't, I didn't hate it, you know, like I really got to end and I was like, hmm, and I may have shed a tear or two because it is really sad. And there are layers to this film in terms of how we treat aging adults and how we treat people with dementia. Um, it's infuriating, but it's infuriating to me in real life and in this movie uh, because there is not a lot of grace for aging people. Um, and so I, I just was like, oh my gosh. And especially when it pertained to his kids, I was like, oh, we gotta have grace for for people who are aging. And so, um, yeah. It I, I like that. I, I like that. So for me, uh, this is a mile watch it. Uh, I, I I just I mean it's it's I was okay with it so I didn't feel like I I wasted my time but it's right. hard for me to say to somebody you gotta see this one this is one that you really gotta see I I I, I I'm upset about people who are trying to compare this with the father because this this was meant to be funny uh, I I've seen some people talking about oh. You know, if you're going to talk about them, it was meant to be funny. It was meant to take this kind of funny journey through what was going on with him and still get across the point how serious this is. But for me, it's a mile watch it. I, 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 I wanted more depth uh, as well. So that's what I'm going to say. It's a watch it for you, KB, a mile watch it for me. And then uh, uh, Katya. I agree with KB. The, the, the thing that was lacking in here is... Um, Tiffany has to work on her range. She has one note, you know, because Billy Crystal is so dynamic and he's such a veteran and he's so smooth that it was odd. Um, for me, it's a watch it because of Billy Crystal, not because of Tiffany. Okay, cool. 